What's going on guys, it's Paradox Tommy here, and today I have a setup tour. You know, it's a different type of video, but I thought I should do it, show you guys what I make my videos on. So I've had this setup for about a month now, so I guess it's safe to say it's a 2020 gaming setup. So let's just hop right into the specs. So for the processor, I have an AMD Ryzen 7 3700X, 3.6 gigahertz, 8 core processor, which I think has like 16 threads. Um, then my CPU cooler is the Corsair H100i RGB Platinum Liquid CPU Cooler, so it's water cooled. And then for my motherboard, it's a MSI MPG X570 Gaming Pro Carbon motherboard. Um, I don't know much about that type of stuff, but apparently it's pretty good. It was recommended to me by some friends, so. Then for my RAM, I have DDR4 3200. Uh, 32 gigabyte memory, so that's it's pretty fast. It helps me edit pretty quickly and I render a lot faster too. And then my hard drive is a 3 terabyte internal hard drive, and then I have a 500 gigabyte SSD, and then a 1 terabyte M.2 SSD, which seriously, like, it just got installed directly onto the motherboard, and that thing is pretty fast. Like, I, I can have a complete restart and it's about 50 seconds long. So it's pretty nuts. And then my graphics card is the MSI GeForce RTX 2080 Ti 11GB Gaming X Trio. So yeah, that's it's a pretty beast graphics card. Like I get like 200 frames on GTA at 2K, 165Hz on I think Ultra everything. It's pretty nuts. Same thing goes for Rainbow Six Siege. So my case is the NZXT H510 Elite ATX Mid Tower case. I liked it just because of the glass panels, there's one on the side and one on the front, so you can see the fans and everything inside. And I'm pretty sure you guys don't really care about power supply, but that'll be in the description. I also bought three extra RGB LED fans. So for my main monitor, I got an Asus ROG Swift 2560 by 1440 2K 165Hz. It's pretty nice. And then for my second monitor, I have an Asus monitor. It's 1080p. Um, 60 hertz. Then I have an external hard drive. It's just two terabytes. It's pretty nice. Um, helps me kind of store all my clips, transfer everything from my old computer to my new one, all kinds of stuff like that. I also bought a capture card for my Switch, but I'm only gonna use that whenever I want to make like you know smash edits or something like that because those are fun to do. So I also have some Corsair gaming mouse pad. It's pretty long. It's probably like three feet, two and a half feet long. So I can put like my, my keyboard and my mouse on it. It's pretty nice. I've had it for about two years now. And then I have a uh, Razer Mamba Elite right-handed gaming mouse. Yeah, so I'm right-handed, obviously. I'm pretty sure 98% of the world is too when it comes to gaming. And for my keyboard, I have a Logitech G815 RGB mechanical gaming keyboard. It's tactile. I don't know what that means, but I like it. It's not too loud. It may seem loud on my videos, but it's pretty quiet because it also like resembles my um, laptop keyboard. So that's why I picked it. So yeah, that's my setup. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, hopefully new videos coming soon. I'm trying to upload every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And at least two videos on the weekend. I may get one. Like this weekend I got one. But I'll try to get it to both Saturday and Sunday. Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll be pushing out some more uploads with Blitz. So yeah, have a good day.